Look at this tomato. We took this picture in a grocery store in Texas in July, which is the height of tomato season. The only problem, it was from Canada. <laughs> Come on! Why would you ship in tomatoes from 1,500 miles away when fresher and competitively priced tomatoes are available within a few miles? Adding to this mystery, consumers love buying local produce. In fact, this year, local food is a $19 billion industry. Demand for local has never been higher. Yet, for some reason, grocery stores and food service companies are struggling to keep up. I'm Sam Eater, CEO of Big Wheelbarrow. Our enterprise software helps solve this mystery by helping grocery stores and food service companies source <laughs> local food at scale. The reason why tomatoes from Canada show up in Texas in July is because grocery stores need tomatoes in every store year round. So to accomplish this, they've created an industrial food supply chain that capitalizes on economies of scale. Because of that, a small, a small amount of producers ship massive volumes of food to huge regional distribution centers, who they in turn run fleets of trucks out to restaurants and grocery stores. Because of that, of the structure or the technology to deal with small local producers. And that creates a hole in the market. Hundreds of food hubs and specialty distributors are filling that gap today. They have relationships with local farms and last mile logistics, but they can only service customers in a local geography. For retailers and food service companies, they have to build relationships with each one of those hubs to get local into all their locations. And that doesn't scale for regional or national players. This is where Big Wheelbarrow comes in. Our platform scales the buying and selling of local food. We partner with <coughs> food hubs like Local Food Connection and specialty brokers to weave together a national network of small, fast supply chains that our customers just can't build for themselves across their entire footprint. It's a technology that didn't exist until today. So let's zoom in on how that works. Big Wheelbarrow allows buyers to discover farms and food hubs around each of their stores. A producer page shows the growing practice, the safety certifications, and, oh look, tomatoes. <laughs> the discovery of local is a matter of clicks, not a day of phone calls. Speaking of which, we eliminate the mess of inventory data that buyers face every day in their emails and their texts. We turn this into that. A simple, powerful tool gives buyers a 360 degree view of their supply chain. It's searchable, it's filterable by category, variety, and location. In this world, aggregation is scale and scale is profitability. Finally, we manage the entire transaction cycle. We give buyers a single place to place orders directly to their suppliers and track those orders along the way so there are no costly surprises along the way. It's exactly what buyers need, and it's live right now. Let me introduce you to our partners, Growers Hub. Growers Hub sources local produce for grocery stores in the northeastern United States. We service 200 of their customers. They love us because we scale their business. In fact, in 2019, we will grow their revenue 4x without additional headcount. <laughs> Growers Hub is a key link in our go-to-market strategy for retail. We're partnering with our expertise and knowledge of the industry to go after some of the biggest names in grocery. By partnering together, we can go faster than either of us could on our own. Besides retail, we're gaining traction in food service. We have two pilots with Gordon Food Service. 
We were very excited about working with GFS to source local food through the GFS stores and the Houston Commercial uh, Group. By now, you're probably wondering how we make money. And this is how that works. To start with, new customers, we bake our fees directly into the cost of goods because that's how they are used to doing business and it makes our sales pretty easy. As we grow that customer, we're gonna entice them to transition into a SaaS model. Their cost per transaction will decrease and our predictable revenue will increase. It's a win-win. By this point, you're wondering how we got here. Simply put, it's the team. We have experience in technology, food, and farming. And together, we've worked at various companies for nearly 20 years. And what we're excited about is that food, local food has grown 400% over the last 10 years to be a $19 billion industry. Yet, that's only 2% of the $1 trillion US food market. Local food will continue to grow as part of that industry. And Big Wilbur will be the platform that powers it as it becomes a bigger slice of the pie. I'm Sam Eater. And if you're interested in helping us take local, scale it to new heights, come talk to us after this. Thank you.